I have a vote. I know. I could have turned in the vote. <laughs> I could have turned in the vote last week, week before, whatever. I didn't turn in my vote until Monday night, okay. two hours before the deadline. Because I've been vacillating back and forth. I had to take Giannis and his greatness into consideration. I, I get tired of people ignoring the greatness of Devin Booker, who is mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. And we got to give him his love. Jokic, I went on Denver Morning Radio with my brother Mark Schlereth that used to be here. I love that brother. He does radio, morning radio, former Denver Bronco doing radio in Denver. And I had to explain to them, like, what, what problems Jokic causes me because without Porter Jr., without Jamal Murray, who I love because he shows up in big games, Jokic, with what he does, this brother is a you know, big tub of lard, can't jump on a curb to save his life, and nobody can stop him. Nobody can stop him. There's nothing you can do with him. It's, it's unbelievable to me. Just tip, tapping balls to himself for rebounds. It's like it's unbelievable. You just watch him like they can't stop him. And in the end, I had to give my vote to Joel Embiid. I go to the last, I understood that there was a slight hiccup once James Harden arrived. So I paid attention to that, right? And in those first few games James Harden arrived, he still had 34, 37, 27, two 22-point games, right? Last 15 games or so, 43, 27, 35, 34, 35, 32, mm -hmm. had a 21-point game, right? 30, 27, 37, 29, 37, 29, 44, 45, 30, 41. This is what Joe Ellen Bede is doing, right? <clears throat> Sixers, limited bench, top 10 defense. We know Jokic don't play defense like Joe Ellen Bede. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.